Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Mandela, Mandela Effect. Has the human anatomy changed? Hopefully by now, this is not for the beginner. <laughs> You've run into the, the Berenstein Bears and them, you know, is it, <laughs> you know, interview with a vampire, the vampire, and, you know, the list just goes on. Star Wars, Luke, and my father, no, I'm your father. Um, but here we're moving on to something different. Um, we're, we're kind of wondering has the anatomy of the human body changed from what you remember. So not only do you maybe remember Chick-fil-A being different and, you know, different things. Um, but what about, have you looked at the human anatomy? Have you gone online and Googled? I'm asking for your help here, and I want you to Google along with me. Don't trust what you see in front of you, because what I'm about to show you is so com completely bizarre. I'm having a hard time believing it. So Google human anatomy and see if you come up with the same picture that's right in front of you. Um, we all know that food, you know, goes down your mouth. It goes down your throat. Um, but look at this. See right here? It says stomach. You draw a line. This is the stomach. A stomach is right here. And it kind of goes up and over here. And you will notice that the stomach, a, a portion of the stomach is behind the rib cage. Um, if you count one, two, three. So at the third rib cage, your stomach starts to go behind the rib cage. The fourth, it's, a lot of it's behind it, you know. So a good portion of your stomach is behind the rib cage and up here. And then you have your large intestine. And then um, these, this is the, um, right here, it says small intestine. This is all your small intestine, according to uh, the anatomy here. Does anybody remember um, the stomach being down here? Do you, do you remember the the throat being a straight shot into the esophagus? You had a little trap door and you had your stomach here and you had your all your acidic juices that digest the food and then and then it goes into the small intestine and does anybody remember the small intestine being down here? How about this rib cage? We're gonna go on this rib cage later. Later, um, the rib cage was always uh, a, a V shape, but here you'll see it, it curves in. The rib, the rib cage curves. You know, it's the liver. It says liver here. Um, does do you see how gigantic the liver ear the the liver is? The liver is huge it's gigantic so let's look at the stomach as I said you know food goes in your mouth it goes down here and oops it takes a little detour it goes to the right so it comes down here here's your esophagus and it takes a, a, a right turn and now it's all sideways And then it goes into the rest of your body. So the stomach is at this completely sideways angle. Does anybody remember the stomach being down here? And the stomach being much more round? Seriously, go in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> Does anything look weird here? If it looks weird, please go in the comments. Let me know. Let's look at this again. So food goes down the esophagus and it makes this oh, oh radical right turn. <laughs> and this is your stomach now. <laughs> and it, it goes into this thing. And this, uh, this is just this is look the oh, oh the liver. Look how look at this liver. It's huge, huge. Look at that. 
There's a left lobe. There's a right lobe. There's your gallbladder. This is just a gigantic liver. Anyway, let's look at it again. Going down the mouth. Um, here it is. You make this radical right turn. And here's your stomach at this weird angle. Here's your liver. The liver's huge. Look at that. And then you got all these small intestines, which you might remember the stomach's down here. The liver's over here. I mean, the liver's smaller. I don't know. Does anybody remember anything different here? I don't know. Um, oh, let's play this guy. This guy's kind of funny. Wait, watch the skeleton, dude. He's, he, wait, can I make it big? Let's make it big. Oh, he's funny. Watch this. Look how he moves around. So, um, basically, you see the rib cage here? Um, do you see how it curves? Look at the curve to that rib cage. And in the back of the rib cage is these two ribs that just dangle. I've heard of free floating ribs, but there's in, in every x-ray I've looked at uh, in this reality humans have these extra two floating ribs um, the the rib cage curves in um, there's this bone that wraps around and connects to the neck or something just um, does this look weird to anybody I, I don't know all right let's go into the pineal gland um, here's your eyes and up here is, from the earth I'm from, this is people, would, you know, Indians, well, put the red dot, not that meaning it's your third eye, but, you know, where the Indian religions, they put the, the, the dot, well, that's marriage or you're not married, and I, I know it means different things, but the point is, um, this is known as the third eye. I remember specifically reading, actually, in Wikipedia, um, you know, you take the third eye, which is above the eyebrows, so... Here's your eye, eyebrows, above the eyebrow, this is the third eye. You go strictly back, and you're supposed to hit the pineal gland. And this is where the pineal gland is supposed to be. Now, mm, now in this reality, the pineal gland is down here. And it's a lot smaller and looks different than I remember. If you look at the spinal cord, the spinal cord... Um, attaches into the middle of the brain. I remember the spinal cord attaching back here more. This is the primal brain. The primal brain is gigantic. It's huge. It's also referred to as the reptilian brain. It's huge. Um, the executive function part of the brain isn't as pronounced. However, um, this part of the brain is huge. So this, what this part of the brain does is it creates electrical stimulation um, basically communication between the left and the right part of the brain. So because the primal brain is so large, this has to also, in order to compensate, because the executive function part of the brain is smaller, it compensates by increasing the electrical signals between the left and right part of the brain to, to make logical decisions and compensate and, you know, you know whatever is being in, taken into the eyes. It can, it's a much more rapid fire system it's a you know it's a more advanced brain for immediate response but you, you kind of leave out this executive function a little bit but that's how they compensate for this large um reptilian brain otherwise you have a bunch of humans running around and killing each other well oh wait they do that um anyway moving right along does any, does this look weird to anybody um i don't know um <sighs> So this is the um, skeleton of the people who live on the planet Earth today. The people of the planet Earth today have these gigantic, huge jaw bones. <clears throat> and they come down here and they're huge. And they connect here. And, you know, the brain stem connects here. And they have these el el elongated, huge jaw bones. And this is present-day view. Um... I don't know, is anybody, yeah, and then they have, there, there's these huge indents here, like, look at these gigantic eye sockets, I don't remember them being that big, and these, there's these huge indents, I don't remember the huge indents, 
Um, I'm still recording. And it's where... Oh, it's only 10 minutes. Dude, I thought I'd be done by now. Um, hmm. Where do I go from here? I'm sorry. I thought I was going to be done. All right. So basically, I'm looking for feedback is what I'm doing. And if I get good feedback, then I'll go into my hypothesis. And, you know, does does this look weird to anybody? Does anybody remember the stomach somewhere else? Do you remember all these intestines? Do you remember the rib cage being at this huge angle? Um, I, I, am, am I... <laughs> Um, there's a saying that, you know, men have one less rib cage, one less rib than the woman because, you know, Adam and Eve, you know, God took out the rib and, but, and that is the earth I'm from. It's true. Men really do. It's a fact, scientific fact. We've done autopsies for thousands of years. The man really does have one missing rib, but here, no, um, they don't. Um, men and women have same rib count. There's no missing rib here. So, um, you know, the stomach does, I mean, does, does this huge liver, does, 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 does this look off to anybody? Please, please make comments. You know, the, the brain, you know, third eye was over here. Does, do these skulls, you know, Google, Google these skulls, look at them. I mean, do you, you know, do you, you know, do you look, you know, look at this, the skeletons, do you remember, remember this way? You know, I, I skull, I'm just, you know, I, I'd love to hear from you. So, I'm just going to leave you with the, the little guy running around for a second, and God bless, good night, love to hear from you.